Okay, well this is turning out to be one of the more fascinating projects I've ever worked on. Um, this is this blinker motor that uses an LED blinker circuit. It's a complementary transistor um, circuit that blinks an LED and instead of the standard inductor I, I made a coil of 34 gauge wire and then uh, put a potentiometer in here and then try different power sources and uh, made a motor out of it and today I've got it running on a lemon and um, on these lemon batteries if you've ever made one uh, this is a zinc alloy of some kind and this is a copper sheet if you try to use just a wire you don't have enough surface area same thing with the zinc if you use a nail there's not enough surface area to get the amperage but this is all you get out of them you, know, you get um, under a volt when they're under load and um, this is this motor running up and what's really interesting about this thing is um, I'll stop the rotor here I went to a lighter weight rotor um, it's just a needle running in a steel screw but there's the blinking going on and there's the voltage as this thing blinks and then you put the the rotor in the formula and as that magnet goes by that coil it's inducing a current evidently back into the system that causes a triggering as that pushes pushes it back in here it overrides the blink somehow and causes an overlap tri uh, triggering and the motor runs and anyway I, I was using a solar panel yesterday and it ran on that at those numbers right there that's with the solar panel now this is a, a different scenario here I've got about the same input voltage but um, it's under one volt at um, milliamp or less but I just thought that was pretty darn interesting. I, I stuck, this started out as a proximity sensor project and ended up with this um, blinker motor, which um, I'm having a lot of fun with. Thanks for watching.